Right, you ready? All right, here, I know it's a little chilly. Here's the boat. Look at that big crack right there, right along the bottom. This boat's in a rough shape right now, people. Oh, there's another hole there and some more damage there. Nice. Let's get to work. Oh yeah, look at that, huh? There's a big crack. Crack it. Boat, boat crack. Boat crack. Boat, boat crack, boat crack. You'll like it. Oh yeah, it's coming clear. Look at that, brand new. Oh my God. How satisfying is that? All right, folks, it's a little chilly today, but we're gonna do some, some sanding. So I figured I'd take some before and after video that way you can see exactly what she looks like now after she's dry. What she's gonna look like when we're Why done. you don't just resin over fiberglass. Can you see, I'm, I'm not sure if I can get this with the camera, but if you can see right around here, it looks like the person who repaired this boat before just put resin over the holes and what happens over time is the resin gets so hard and dry it will actually it, it'll separate and it will it'll flake off and obviously it uh it will cause damage but <laughs> scissors on chop strand. You get those hard lines that will just pop up just like that. That sucks. All right folks so I just finished up today which was a day of sanding. I uh, sanded the bottom of the skiff and it took a long time to do. All right but she's looking good. Or, no, she's not, but she's looking better. Um, there's cracks, there's holes. You guys can see it. I'm not even going to say it anymore. She's in rough shape, but you know what? It's a labor of love. And I'm just going to document everything, so. Disregard the talking. <laughs> resin and mixing it up very well. There you right. go. Yep, a little bit more. And bring it down just a little bit more. 
little bit further, there you go. So that when we put the fiberglass on, it has something to stick to while we're saturating it. Keep going, all the way down that seam. It's a little cold, so it won't set up quite as fast either, so. <laughs> Don't put it on your fingers. <laughs> Excellent. I need a tissue. So now we take this, we put this right. Oh, actually. I can see the lines. Put this right here, like that. All right tacks down and that's why we put that resin underneath so we can get it like that all right and now you take this resin and I should be wearing gloves but I'm wicked clean <gasps> yeah Actually, you know what? I'm going to drip some right on it. And this has to saturate those fibers. And you don't... Yeah, it's all right. That's so cool. You don't paint it because it'll move those fibers. You just dab it. Dab it, do ya? Looks like maple syrup. <laughs> it's really thick. We might have wanted to put a little bit more fiberglass, uh, some resin underneath, but this will work. Good job, yep. Yep, just pull a little down, just like that. Make it nice and flat. Nice. We got a little translucent skin forming over that giant crack. Lots of sanding. You can actually see where we where we marked it. <laughs> right? It's all pulled out now. <laughs> Good job. So we did that crack. Came over and we filled these. And that skin, look at all this fiberglass that we just did. Oop. Thank <laughs> you.
Excellent. <laughs> oh, getting all tangled up in our cords here. Let's see what you got. Back up over there. All right. So now we're gonna put this down over our long ass crack. <laughs> ass crack. Long ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> resin underneath but this is still gonna get saturated too what we're trying to do is make sure that there's no ear bubbles underneath so we'll roll it out after we saturate so now take this Change angles too if you can. After sanding, we can see that there's a whole bunch of discrepancies in the fiberglass, like right around here. These are little holes. Just to give you perspective, that's my finger. I'm just really close. <laughs> um, so they're tiny, but there are, these were ear pockets. So when I sanded them out, the ear pockets were revealed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some fairing compound. We're gonna make it nice and flat. We're gonna get this thing ready for paint. <laughs> well today's the day my daughter's been waiting for we're going to do a little bit of painting today what we're going to do is going to paint the bottom of the boat see what discrepancies we have after we do the bottom paint then we'll come back and we'll do some more fairing compound very good now go up to the center yep excellent yep take those off when you see them again we're going to go back and we're going to sand this so we'll make it nice and pretty and this is just the primer coat So you don't have to go below that, but you can go right on top of the paint, on top of the tape can if I you want this to. Way? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Nope. Just the primer. We just want to make sure that every little bit. Ah, oh, I didn't know you liked painting. Good job. Good job. 